Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are going to present about risk management of ABC Company. Firstly, I want to tell about our company background. ABC Sinan Bahad is Malaysia Universal Bank. ABC Sinan Bahad was established in Malaysia in 1974 and it headquartered in Kuala Lumpur. ABC's vision is to be a leading ASEAN company. Why ABC's vision is to provide universal banking services as a high-performing institutional and integrated company located in ASEAN and key market beyond and to champion the acceleration of ASEAN integration and the regions linked to the rest of the world. ABC Sinan Bahad has an extensive retail branch network with 1,080 branches across the region. ABC's operations are included under several entities by offering Islamic banking and asset management products and services. In general, ABC's conduct the group business activities in the areas of consumer banking, wholesale banking, comprising investment banking and corporate Uh, corporate banking, treasury and market and group strategy and strategic investment with a core market involved being Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore and Thailand. ABC Sendal Bahad is also known and recognized as a world leader in Islamic finance. ABC Islamic operates in parallel with this business in line with the dual group banking model. The group has more than 40,000 employees located in 18 countries covering ASEAN and major global financial centers as well as country where its customers have significant business and investment dealing. Now, I want to explain about the tools that our company use. There are two tools which is orientation and exposure checklist. For orientation, can be described as the way an individual invests energy in response to perception of significant uncertainty, namely in seeing either the opportunities or the obstacle. In some cases, a career, a career defined by taking bold action can be beneficial. Orientation risk that occurs in ABC Sinan Berhad is bribery and corruption within internet and also external organization management. This can be a major risk that can bring loss to the company. This is one of our solutions to, to overcome this concern which is expected our employees to be vigilant about wrongdoing, malpractice or irregularities in the workplace. All employees must report at any such instances to the management immediately. Our company always deal with such matters confidentially and protect the identity of the complaint and the criminal will be judged and uh, punished firmly. Next is exposure checklist. A risk exposure checklist is another means of identifying major risks in ABC Silverhead. Like all checklists, it helps to prevent overlooking major exposure. Although the checklist cannot include all possible exposure to organization, it can be used effectively in conjunction with other risk identification tools to reduce the chance of overlooking a serious exposure. So, based on the table, 1.2 Company ABC Sedia Berhad handling risk by making an exposure checklist based on the list we can predict some rising risk that may disadvantage the company. Next step is evaluating potential risk. When assessing risk, there are three criteria of evaluating risk. We should keep in mind which is critical risk, important risk and unimportant risk. First is critical risk. Critical risk includes all exposure that carry potential losses that will result in bankruptcy. In this case, credit risk is the biggest risk for a bank. It's happening once a borrower or counterparties fail to satisfy writing agreement obligation. For example, when borrower defaults on a principal or interest payment of a loan. Next, failure to make a writing agreement contract also can occur in areas with derivatives and quarantines provided, whereas bank cannot be obsolescently shielded from a credit risk because of the character of their business model. This causes deterioration in a trade or institution that is commonly unpredictable. When lower their exposure through diversification, those banks are less likely to be overexposed to a class with a massive losses. So, to lower their risk exposure, they will loan cash to work with the smart credit histories, interact with high quality counterparties, or own collateral to duplicate the loan. Secondly, important risks which include the exposure that carry potential losses that will not lead to the bankruptcy but require the firm to borrow in order to continue the operations. We can see market risk arises primarily from the bank activities in the capital market. This is due to the unpredictability of the stock market, commodity price, interest rate and credit spreads. Commodity price also play a role because a bank can invest in companies that produce commodities. When the value of a raw material change, so does the value of the company and the value of the investment. Change in a commodity price are caused by changes in the supply and the demand that are often difficult to predict. Investment diversification is important to reduce the market risk. Lastly, unimportant risk. This include 
data exposure in which the possible losses could be made out of the existing asset or a current income of the firm without imposing other financial system. Operational risk is the risk of the loss due to the failure, description, or the damage caused by the people, system, or the processes. The natural of operational risk is known for a simple business activities such as retail banking and work management, and higher for activities such as sales and trade. Basically, losses resulting from a human error include external fraud or mistake made during the transaction. For example, a clerk accidentally made a typing error on a deposit check. In summary, brief evaluation have ABC company to identify the estimated risk actually affected and also determine the ability of the firm to absorb the losses. Implementation includes allocating responsibility for managing specific risk and underlying that creating a risk of encounter in which mismanagement becomes embedded within the organizational language and method of working. The first implementation of ABC company is the implementation of overall risk management framework. It's based on two factors, which are financial and non-financial criteria. Management must implement the best and most cost-effective risk. Financial criteria refer to the effect of the organization's probability of or rate or rate of return. In the course of ABC company question, they are inevitably confronted with a variety of risks that could have a negative influence on their profits in market risk. Right high utility and potential abroad depend in the value of climate incompatible securities underwriting or held by ABC company. Based on the financial statement, the total asset of ABC company has started to decrease. It happened because the ABC company may have some problems such as economic decline. Thus, it will have a negative impact on the company itself and the investor. Why no financial criteria mean whether it would affect the growth of the organization, monitoring expect and legal recommend. Transition risk and risk will arise in the process of adjustment to a low carbon economy. This includes policy and regulatory change, technology, investor expectation and consumer preference. Particular risk will be affected by rising in the event of increased variety and frequency of climate change induced different which include acute drivers and chronic drivers. The effect will cause lower corporate profitability due to increase in production costs and increased litigation, reduced or complete loss of recent residential and commercial property value in high risk areas such as those in blue plain. The next implementation is implementation of risk responsibility for managing risk. Risk Management Committee RMC is an independent committee of board directors that have its source and exclusive function responsibility for the oversight of the risk management policies and practices of the corporation's global operation and oversight of the operation of the corporation's global risk. Simply put, RMC is in charge of taking the comprehensive risk management strategy into action. The committee is just by president director and consists of all members of director and several executive officers. In other words, ABC's risk management process where all decisions made, this committee are well documented. The next implementation is implementation of COSO internal control system. The internal control system is in the achievement of the company's performance goals, as well as the creation of value of stakeholders, the reduction of risk of loss, and adherence to applicable rules and information. So, ABC company implements the internet control system as a fundamental component in monetary company management, serving as a benchmark for sound and control of the operation. The COSO Internal Control Integrated Framework is used in the development of an internal control framework that ensures adequacy of operational and financial control, financial reporting, operational effectiveness and efficiency, and compliance with applicable laws and regulation. Internal controls at ABC Company are based on the two aspects, which is operational control and financial control. The COSO Internal Control Framework consists of five controlling components, which are control environment, risk assessment and risk management, control activities, information and communication, and monitoring. The last implementation of ABC company is creating awareness culture. In creating a culture of awareness, there is need to be activities such as workshop and training consultants that so that members know information about the mechanism, structure and tools that are being implemented to support the process. Risk control, also known as hazard control, is a step in the risk management process that involves putting in place strategies for neutralizing or reducing identified hazards. The core of concept risk control include first, Prevention is the most effective way. For example, if a factory owner discovers that a chemical utilized in the production of a company is hazardous to the worker's health, he or she will seek out of safe substitute chemical. Second is loss prevention recognized, a risk but seeks to reduce then the eliminate the loss. For example, a loss prevention program is implemented because there is no way to avoid it. Patrolling security guards, video cameras, and secure storage facilities are all the part of the scheme. Another example of risk mitigation that is contracted out to a third party insurance. And the last is when a threat arises, loss reduction accepts the risk and works to limit losses.
for example, a corporation that store hazardous materials in a in a warehouse installs cutting edge water sprinkler to reduce damage in the event of a fire. In practice, this approach are utilized in concept to vary degrees and they alter as the company explained, the company, the economy changes and the competitive landscape shift. The second one is risk financing. The process of determining how an organization will pay for losses is an effective and least costly way is called risk financing. It evaluates risk, decides and funding options and monitors the effectiveness of those options. The efficiency of these systems is highly dependent on the company size, financial status and the types of risk it has taken. Risk financing selects the least experienced risk among those taken by the company and guarantees that the company has the necessary financial resources to recover and continue operation in event of Risk financing is often determined by a corporation predicting the loss it expects to incur over a period of time and then calculating the net present value of the cost associated with the various risk financing options available to them. Depending on the risk that need to be covered, the loss development index that is most suitable to organization, the cost of retaining staff to oversee the program and any consulting legal or external specialists that are required. Each alternative is likely to have various prices. The efficiency, efficiency with which a firm managed situation that necessitates risk financing reflects the company, long-term growth, potential and competitiveness. The way risk financing managed reviews and organization financial health through the identification and monitoring of important measures. Okay, next, I would like to talk about risk mitigation. Risk mitigation is a strategy to prepare and lessen the effect of threats faced by a business. Comparable to risk reduction, risk mitigation takes steps to reduce the negative effects of threats and disaster business continuity. Threats that might put a business at risk include cyber attacks, weather events, and other causes of physical and or visual damage. The next is risk avoidance. Risk avoidance means not doing certain actions to help protect our company. It's impossible to completely eliminate risk for our company, but a well-defined risk avoidance strategy can help the company get as close as possible. For example, ABC company implements risk avoidance measures through employee training. Firstly, ABC training creates a culture of innovation and problem solving. For instance, ABC company employee training is going to prepare their staff for the future that must focus on people as much as it focuses on growth. By giving their employees the training, ABC company needs to develop creativity and problem-solving abilities and then let their staff into team assignments about risk or problem. ABC company also have to make sure to develop a culture of diversity. This means equal hiring and recognition across age, gender, race and geography. It also requires safe space like online forum where all employees can share ideas and feedback. Next, ABC company training their staff how to lead and manage change. For example, as we know, the wave of change are rolling into every bank door in the world, and managing that change will really require the help of employees. From the basement floor to the corner office, in other words, this day, command and control are all over. So, ABC, ABC company train their employees to lead, manage, and promote change in company by giving them the skills of project manager and the values of active leaders. Okay, next is loss control. Loss control includes all measures other than avoidance design to reduce the frequency, severity, and unpredictability losses by changing the characteristics of the exposure so that it is more acceptable to the firm. It can be considered from two perspectives, which are loss prevention and loss control. ABC, ABC company face information technology and cyber security risks. ABC company protects and ensures the competitive integrity and availability of its information assets through implementing appropriate technology, risk and security control to protect against the misuse of or compromise of information assets. So, in managing increased volume of digital trans transaction, ABC company continuously prioritize, upgrades and monitor the IT infrastructure to maintain system real resiliency and ensure high service levels to customers. Security awareness program has been elevated to equip staff with necessary skills in detecting and appropriately responding towards malicious attempts targeting and users. ABC company is also working closely with relevant authorities and industry players in heightening protection, detection and response capabilities of cyber resiliency. 
Separation is the control of risk by spreading the exposure or activity to several locations. Indirectly, this risk control techniques where the goal is to reduce the overall severity of the consequences of the risk involved. Okay, next about the contractual risk transfer. It's legally binding way to transfer risk to the party that may be in the best uh, position to control the risk related to the service to be provided. Contractual risk transfer is commonly used in subcontracting, supplier or sales agreement, lease agreements and other situations. Now, I will explain a little about the risk financing. There are three things to keep in mind. And first, insurance, a risk financing method of transferring the financial consequences of potential accidental losses from an insured firm or individual to an insurer. The insurance transaction involves the policyholder assuming, uh, assuming as a guarantee known and relatively a small loss in the form of a payment to the insurer in exchange for the insurer's promise to compensate the insurer in the event of covered loss. Next, a captive insurer is generally defined as an insurance company that is wholly owned and controlled by its insurer. Its primary purpose is to ensure the risk of its owners and its insurer benefit from the captive insurer underwriting of it. This point do not clearly distinguish the captive insurer from a mutual insurance company. A mutual insurance company is technically owned and controlled by its policyholder, but no one who is merely a mutual insurance company hold policyholder exercises uh, control of the company. Last but not least, risk retention is an individual or organization's decision to take responsibility for a particular risk it faces as opposed to transferring the risk over to an insurance company by purchasing insurance. That means the individual or organization has chosen to pay for any losses out of pocket rather than purchasing insurance as mean as uh, of transferring the financial burden of a loss to a third party. In conclusion, ABC company operates globally in a variety of markets and is influenced by numbers of risks in its activities, not all of which are within its control. The company faces various obstacles and intense competition in the industry. Thus, once the risks have been identified and evaluated, the next step is to examine all possible ways to handle them. The two main ways to classify risk management techniques are risk control and risk financing. Risk control are means to prevent losses from happening while risk financing are meant to pay for, the, for these losses losses should they occur. Using risk management techniques, which are risk control and risk financing, ABC company can reduce the severity of risk through risk avoidance, loss control, separation, contractual transfer, insurance, captive insurance and retention. Moreover, risk mitigation is an element of risk management and its implementation will vary by organization. Risk mitigation is a strategy or measure for a company to reduce or minimize the negative effects that can push a trade to business continuity. Threats that can put a business at risk include cyber attacks, weather events, other cause of bicycle or ritual damage. Last but not least, ABC company always strive for the growth, sustainability and also the continuity of the company for the long period. With the risk mitigation, it is certain that company can minimize the possible losses within the company to ensure the continuity is operational.